Chapter 6. A Serious Choice. On Thursday, December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks waited for the bus after work. She paid her fare and then went to enter the back door to the black section. She got a seat in a row with two other black people. The bus became crowded and the white section was full. The driver told the black people to get up because there was a white man standing in the aisle. The two people next to Rosa moved. She decided not to give up her seat. She wasn't simply tired from work that day. She was tired of all the times she had been treated unfairly. She made a serious choice. The driver refused to move the bus. Rosa refused to move herself. He called the police. 42-year-old Rosa Parks was arrested and taken to jail because she wouldn't give up her seat on a city bus. She was released from jail later that night. No one, not even Rosa, imagined what would happen in Montgomery the day after that. Word spread across the black community in Montgomery about what Rosa had done. They decided they'd had enough. They decided to protest by not riding the buses. Instead, they would boycott the buses. Many people walked wherever they had to go. Others got rides from black and white friends who drove cars. On Monday morning, December 5th, Rosa Parks went before the judge. Montgomery City buses were empty of black passengers. They were empty the day after that, too, and for weeks after. News of the boycott and pictures of Rosa Parks spread throughout the United States and the world. The boycott lasted for 13 months. In December 1956, the city of Montgomery ended bus segregation and the boycott ended. The Parks family moved to Detroit, Michigan, where they continued to be active in the civil rights movement. Rosa's firm belief in fighting nonviolently for civil rights had never ended. The brave girl became a strong, courageous woman who spent the rest of her life traveling, speaking, and standing up for equality. The End